This week's theme is flour. <laughs> and with flour, you can make cakes. On Sunday, it's Big Night In. It's Barry and Ben. There are two brownie points up for grabs, and Ben is going to handle the cooking while Barry handles the experience. I feel like we've made up a job for you. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen, to our gentlemen's afternoon tea. In front of us right now, we have a three tiered hanging cupcake. In front of you, we have an upside down three tiered hanging cupcake tower four ways. Wow. I. Immediately, I'm, I'm impressed <laughs> by the dangliness. It's a big night in, and in front of you, we have cupcakes. How does that make you feel? One of the words uh, that springs to mind immediately is inadequate. <laughs> okay. Can I also add to that, the candles and the twinkly lights are freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> they're done, they're gone. Cake isn't complete without coffee. So we have some coffee on the go behind it. Jamie, would you mind passing the coffee round? And of course, a gentleman's oh, afternoon tea yeah. isn't complete without a little bit of booze. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers! Afternoon tea with no tea. Now, can we talk you through the food? Yeah. First up, some structural engineering. It's an upside down tiered cake as a celebration. I think it, I think it works. Each of these cupcakes started exactly the same way with a classic vanilla cupcake mix. A classic sponge, that's butter, which we've softened, mixed with caster sugar until it's light and fluffy and kind of pale. Then we crack in one egg at a time, half a dozen in total, a tablespoon of flour with each. A teaspoon or two of vanilla, because all of the base cupcakes taste the same to start off with. We've put loads of air into it, finally we turn it right the way down and we fold in our flour and baking powder. This has the gluten, the gluten provides the structure to our cake, and the most of the body, and most of the body. Dive in. What takes your fancy straight away? Probably gonna go for the bacon one. Ah, ha. Oh. Hang on, Baz. Uh, which one do you want? Ready, grab it. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh! No. There you go. That was Lucky your tip. selection. I'll go for the only one that's left. I <laughs> want to swing. <laughs> I am so on the edge of my seat right now. I came in like a ring. <laughs> <laughs> We're double wrapping our cupcakes for our gentleman afternoon tea party. That's because we don't want these to stick to the inside. There's some more standard ones at the bottom which you can then peel off. There's some nice fancy ones on the outside just to look good. <laughs> I'm so glad you went first because I would not have spotted that. This is going to be up. A... <laughs> oh, mate. There is a gooey surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 hello. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh, there's double gooey. <laughs> <laughs> there's a chocolatey surprise and I think that's, is that caramel or peanut butter? <laughs> peanut butter. Would you like one of those? Yes, please, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we're making a cupcake that I assure you everybody is going to love. They're chocolate cupcakes and we're going to scoop out the middle and put some Nutella and some peanut butter. It's got Mike's name all over this. It's got the world's name over this. It's got the internet's name over this. Right, so that is a hazelnut chocolate, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that is delicious. And then with the peanut butter, um, the actual, so the buttercream tastes like really good levelled up buttercream by Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so that is delicious as a start. Meringue buttercream is exactly the same for all four and then we'll differ the garnishes. It's made. Uh oh. Eggs separated. Whites go over Bay Marie. Also add your sugar in so you can't feel the grain. Then place it into a mixer, whisk it to stiff peaks and when it stiff peaks then add in the butter which should be just pliable one cube at a time. So did you um, design this just for me? Thought, this is my cupcake. We yeah. thought there were flavours that would hit your sweet spot and it was the one you went for first. Jay, you also opted for the one from the tower that we hoped you would. Um, well, it wasn't going to be the one with the sprig of mint on the top. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the one with what looks like, I can only imagine being sweetened orange candy lemon. That looks nice. Colour blind. Yeah, colour blind. It could yeah. be any of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
There was candy grapefruit earlier in the week. I can only imagine it's leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> and here's a classic example of Jamie being an absolute <laughs> And this isn't exactly the first time his personality has been a problem. If you hold on to the end of the video, we're gonna see if we can help cure Jamie. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't forget there's a brownie point at stake for Ben here, and he's like responsible for the food. Oi, we were supposed to working together. <laughs> I was gonna say, no, no, you said. But I'm, I'm scared of this one. It might work out well, but at the same time, Ben did describe this in a slightly unusual manner. I have a feeling that if we make them too meaty, it's gonna taste a bit like dog food. So I think subtle, smoky, bacony porkiness is good. Okay. If it's a meaty cupcake, less so. Go, you got to go it. into it. I guarantee when you taste this, he'll make this noise. Yep! Yes! <laughs> 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 what is that? That is a cupcake. Oh, mate. Yeah? Your pocket toast. I've still got the bacon, because uh, that was on top in a big bit. There's a massive smokiness to it as well, though. So yeah. there is bacon garnishing on top. What we also did was blitz them up and put bacon crumb through the middle. So it's smoked bacon, mm -hmm. baked until crispy, mm -hmm. blended until crummy and fold it into the batter, along with one other flavour. So we paired it with a little bit of maple syrup. We're just thinking this is all about Jamie. Yeah. And of course, at the end as well, we poked a few holes in it and we infused it with some more whiskey. Oh, that's You've a had shot. a whiskey drizzle. Yeah, that's fantastic. Should we, do you guys both want to experience Ben's at the same time he does? His cupcake? Yes. Right, yes. Yeah, right. yeah, sure. Are you going to lean? <laughs> uh, if you lean that way. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable with this. And I'll lean this, this way. So, okay. <laughs> Oh, we packed. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so what I'm instantly hoping for is a sweet savouriness. So at the start of the week, we did thyme and rosemary in our polenta cake. For this one, I thought with the sweetness and the vanilla, a little bit of basil chopped up. And to be honest with you, I went quite a bit of basil because I wanted that fleck. <laughs> I'm just trying to be cool and on trend. I've heard they're all putting herbs into their bakes in Amsterdam. So I thought, why not in London? Basil it is, a couple of sprigs, finely chopped and mixed into the batter. Okay, more basil, I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to meet you again. Well, I can't really taste it. That, so, that might be the point. I think, no, I think it's a fear that if they're going to like these cakes, they've really got to pack a punch on flavour. It's basil-y. You definitely get basil, don't it you? tastes like a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you're not a fan. I quite like it. They smell great. I mean, they don't smell like cupcakes, but they smell great. I'm sure, it, I'm sure we've spoken about it before. But basil used just to be know. a perfume yeah. for prostitutes back in the day. It used to attract customers. It used to, Italian women used to What are you doing in do Amsterdam? <laughs> <laughs> I think that that combination works. I think it's very surprising when yeah. you first eat it. Mm -hmm. It's one of those ones you go, ooh, yeah. interesting. Interesting, yeah. that's a good As way to describe it. Interesting, mm, interesting. Dive in on mine. It's another bloody avocado, isn't it? <laughs> it's, there's it's no avocado. avocado. Smoked salmon and avocado. <laughs> <laughs> Barry's is a lemon drizzle cake, and the base is simply zested lemon into your mix. For your lemon drizzle cakes, we need some lemon. So get a lemon, some lemon juice in a bowl, get some honey in there, and then drizzle that over your pre-pricked cupcake. Then pipe on your buttercream and finish with candied lemon. I think we got the word lemon in there about nine times. Lemon, 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 lemon party. Oh, man. Oh, oh wow, that is I, so lemony. I love how fresh that is. I feel like I've got more lemon, personally. Yeah, it's um, lemon. Mm. But yeah, otherwise, that's perfect for me. There's two brownie points at stake here. So also, the questions rely on uh, how you two cooperated, how fun it was, um, and the quality of the product that's come out the back end of it. Absolutely. Flavour combinations, mm -hmm. I think we can mark separately. Yep. Uh, for you? I don't think I could have improved that cupcake for me. You seem to realise that my savoury tooth is actually far bigger than my sweet tooth. And so the addition of the bacon, the whiskey, yep. balanced with the maple, and the vanilla that was already going on in the cupcake and the buttercream, I, I, can't, I can't really fault that. Barry, how was it working with them? Um, in the process, I was concerned, and I feel as though uh, you got carried away at times with some of the Ben basil. got carried away. Got carried away. I think it was the herb garden. He got excited. He even dabbed at one point. <laughs> what? 
I felt uncomfortable <laughs> and I thought he's... He did not. The only time I've seen him you that... Mean his forehead? No. Handy tip that we picked up the other day. If you think your meringue buttercream is a little bit yellow, then add a little dab of purple colouring to make it a little bit more white. Did someone say dab? All right. Well, we need to get down to the business end. So it's time to give out some brownie points, mm -hmm. if we do at all. James said at the start of the week, based on the food, do I get mine? Based on the experience, does Barry get his? You You're not going to argue your way into our decision. No. By saying a whole load of stuff. You don't have no. to eat the basil one, that was for me. No, no you don't have to say that. anything. We've tasted our decision. <laughs> yeah. And our decision is, we will let you know after this community question. Yes. <laughs> so, Lauren asks, since you spend a lot of time together, what do you think each other's most annoying habits are? <laughs> oh. How many years together now? We're not what, together. Well, you know what I mean, having known each other. Right, number one, Benuendos. <laughs> Barry's the kind of guy that says that he'll meet you at seven o'clock with your group of friends to go out for a few beers. And next thing you know, it's Monday morning <laughs> and he didn't turn up. <laughs> But he did send... No, he didn't. No, no, <laughs> no. no, no, no. no. I would say, with Mike, yeah. if he says he's going to be there, he will always be there. Yes. He will never let you down. However, he lives in a different time zone <laughs> no, to the rest of us. Mike time. Yeah, Mike, Mike time. time. Yeah, yeah, fair. Jamie does this thing. It wasn't a big deal, but it's become a big deal. <laughs> Jamie loves his music. Oh. Yeah. And when he puts his headphones on to listen to music, suddenly... <laughs> it's when I'm not concentrating on breathing. It just <laughs> becomes very noisy. It's very noisy. <laughs> it's like your subconscious forgets to fight off the asthma. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Now, I think the conversation centres around our expectations versus what was delivered on. Yeah. Now, was your expectation delivered on, on afternoon tea? No, not with what? No. So, no. However, was what we had great? Yes. Okay, so therefore, I would say, and I don't know if you're in agreement, half a point. I agree. I'm sorry. That's all I can say. No, it's, we, we, we didn't quite live up to the expectations of the night. But that only, came from the, that only came from the invite. And I think, actually, if you look at the invite, we all adhered to the rules that were set by the invite, apart from the food. Um, but dress code-wise, shirt, Made jacket, no jeans. I think we nailed it. Now, you may use this channel for recipe inspiration or some sparkly entertainment, but we like to use it for self-improvement. The problem we have with you, Jamie, and that's we, all of us, is Jamie. <laughs> you are your own problem. Yeah. A good one to start us off. Jamie was an idiot in this battle. That's why I think he should be disqualified from all future battles and replaced with James. This is from the infamous baked potato battle that we had, and you, you shone so very nicely. <laughs> Jamie's trying to save his own creative butt by so narrowly defining baked potato. His is even called Hasselback potato, not baked potato. He's one to talk. I agree with Ben. They're all potatoes and they all have been baked. Jamie annoys me and his potato is too rich. To start our actual baked potato, I'm just, I'm just thinking about the people that click on a baked potato recipe video and then find two out of three of the recipes aren't baked potatoes. Oh, Go with why it. don't you turn that into a jacket potato? We, we're both doing bacon. Yeah. And um, can I use your But only one of us is doing bacon potatoes. You can make a jacket potato that time, mate. Eh? These are really deep because they're really deep. Just go over to your bench and shut your mouth. Jamie is so annoying and unfunny in every video. Can't stand him. Everyone else is awesome. The comment to end all comments. Jamie could be replaced with a watermelon and the video <laughs> would be exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we've decided, Jamie, that there is no helping you in the situation. Um, so we decided the best thing we can do is we People want you <laughs> to that. Well, the, also the vets are booked up. So. <laughs> we want an apology to us, most important, everybody here at Sorted, uh, and also to everybody watching this right now. Could you please sincerely, honestly, give an apology to everybody at home? Dear boys, Sorted Food team, people of the internet, people of the world. 
I sincerely apologise for any offence I may have caused in any videos or any real life interactions that I may or may not have had uh, with you. Um, I'm just trying to be accepted and I do that by trying to be funny and I realise that a lot of the time I fail. Uh, and if those attempts have offended you then I really do apologise and I will try to be a better person from here on. As you can tell, these self-help sessions are really helping us out. If you have any more advice for any of us on how we can improve ourselves, please comment below and let us know. We want to be better people. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? That is Cake Week done. Uh, but I feel like Cake Week shouldn't be a week. Cake Week should probably be a year, given how many cakes there are in the world. We've probably missed thousands of the ones that you would love us to cook. Let us know down below because I'm sure it's probably going to make a comeback soon. Almost certainly. If you want to give any of the recipes a go from this week, they are available on sortedfood.com. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, we're going to make you hungry. If you have already subscribed, I then make sure you click... No, 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 I'm going to say it. Click the bell. Because the bell is going to be the thing that notifies you every time we upload a brand new video. Monday morning, 10 a.m. UK time, we kick off another week with another theme. But if you can't wait for that, yes, then go to sourcedfood.com now and you'll be able to find out what the theme is. And the weird bit about that is we don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> no. So try and figure that out. Until Monday, or now in a. Um, that's confusing. 30 seconds time, or on Monday, we'll see you. Yes, goodbye! Does that make any sense? <laughs> Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.